have an eating disorder and it's really just it's taken over my whole life. I don't have issues binging. I almost feel like I've wasted 24 years of my life to this eating disorder. I've never had those types of issues like eating three times the amount you normally would. I've never had that. It's not who I want to be. I have not what I consider binged. I'm binging my life away. I have not ate in a binging manner. Amberlynn has always been pretty open about her struggles with food. She has talked about her binge eating disorder for years, but for some reason she thought she could manipulate not only her doctors, but also her thousands of followers into believing that she has never had any issues binging. So let's take a look back at some binging episodes and her desperate attempt to claim that it never happened. Someone needs to tell our girl that the internet is forever. I was actually watching a vlog where someone showed a bag of chips. That's all it took. Oh my God. Someone showed a bag of chips. Oh yes. I felt insanely triggered from that. I could not stop thinking about food. I felt like if I didn't eat something, something bad was gonna happen. There's almost like this possession that comes over you where you literally cannot control it. I started crying while binging. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done that before. And uh, I'm actually gonna show you what I binged on. So it started with a cup of noodle. I ended up having one of these rice I had a whole can of peanuts and then I had a whole thing of plantain chips and this was like up to here and now that's all that's left oh yeah and I also had a bunch of not a bunch but quite a few of these mozzarella balls it just felt like I could keep eating and eating and eating and eating I woke up sick I have heartburn um, I have indigestion my gallstones hurt so bad and I puked after so many days of like just counting calories and eating less my body is like not sure how to react I guess I don't want to just like shock my body and drink all kinds of water and I don't even want to weigh myself because I already know I already know so I'm not gonna weigh myself goodbye, goodbye. That singular instance right there shows us all what we already know. And there are many, many more times that we've seen the same thing happen. However, these next clips are polar opposite of everything she just said. And Goral wonders why we don't support her or believe a word from her mouth. Being diagnosed with binge eating has been very strange. I am 500 pounds. I have been 572. I have been almost 600 pounds. You can't get that way unless you are eating large quantities of food. Is that just like massively overeating or is that binging? For the normal person, it looks like binging. I don't have issues binging. Let me help you out, Amber. You know the difference very well. Did you forget about this next clip? Your memory can't be that bad, Goral. You'd think she'd be better at lying by now. A lot of people are like, okay, so do you know the characteristics and the differences between overeating and like binge eating? Yes, the big one for me is the mentality of it. But another one is when I'm binging, I eat so much quicker and I don't chew as much. I take bigger bites and it's just like, like shoveling it in almost. Um, not in the animated way that you're probably imagining. No, it's just definitely a lot quicker um, while overeating. It's a completely different mental headspace. It's like, I'm eating slower, you know, thoroughly enjoying the food. But during a binge, I'm, I'm not enjoying the food at all. When I'm binging, I'm mentally unwell while I'm eating. While I'm overeating, obviously it's not at the quantity of binging, but it's like I'm not mentally unwell when I'm overeating. The way that I see binging is very different than the standard binging. That statement makes no sense. Does Amber really think that she can change the definition of a medical disorder? That is straight up delusional and just frustrating. Like, does she even hear herself? Having that like binging just where you want to binge so bad. I'm currently in that moment. I want you guys to know that, that I'm currently in that moment of like, wanting all the foods and just wanting to numb this situation. I'm just really, 
really talking myself out of the binge. That's just where I need to keep putting my brain at. A lot of people say, you know, drink water. Drinking water. It's like, I know I'll be okay if I don't binge, but it's just like, it takes so much out of you. Like so much energy to not do it. And I know I'll be okay. I'm like rocking back and forth like some freaking crazy person. I swear I'm not. It's just, this is what you guys wanted. The raw, true, everything. It's just, this is it. This is, this is it, y'all. Like. Someone please tell me how you can go from that to saying I don't have issues binging. Make it make sense. Was she faking this crying and rocking back and forth? Or is she lying now when she says she doesn't binge? This is exactly why she doesn't get the support she wants. I'm I'm going to win this. I'm going to win this. Um, I'm not gonna binge. It's not happening. It's not worth it. It's just not. I'm so tired of coming on here and crying, but y'all wanted real this is real this is something that usually would happen off of the camera but it's happening now it's happening it's happening you know it's usually a little bit different i'm usually not crying but it's just like knowing i'm gonna die makes me cry so why wouldn't i cry you know i don't have issues binging Okay, Goral, I'd love to hear an explanation of the 10 plus years of her documenting herself struggling with this. Here's a little compilation of the struggles if you haven't seen enough yet. I did end up binging. I ate this whole thing. I can't just eat one. I can't just eat two. Two is a serving. I am really struggling every single night. The binge monster does come out. I also gain weight because I binge. I also gain weight because I overeat. I wanted to just like log out loud that I'm having these like moments where I really want to binge eat and I want to just eat, eat, eat. And when I think about it, my heart starts racing like really fast and I get like excited and then it's really odd. I am binging. This fat girl, she needs to get it under control. She's failing and she can control what she does. She can. No, that's what people don't understand is I can't physically sometimes control myself. And that's when it's, it gets scary. Like I literally feel like if I don't put something in my mouth, chew it and swallow it, that I'll go insane and I'll cry. And it's just, it's it's a scary feeling. And if that's not food addiction, then I don't know what is. I don't have issues binging. I've never had those types of issues, like eating three times the amount you normally would. I've never had that. I hate food <laughs> more than anything. 